Have you ever wondered how the bridge that crosses the Niagara Falls was built in 1846? How did they start it off? Well, I'm going to tell you, you didn't know this, I'm pretty certain, but a kite was involved. Malcolm Goodman, the kiteman, is going to tell us all about it. Now, Malcolm, you've always got a very interesting story when it comes to kites. Tell us how kites played an important role in crossing the Niagara Falls. Right, well, the um, Americans wanted to build a bridge between um, America and Canada and over the Niagara Falls. And because it's such a fast flowing river, there's no way they could roll across the rapids, everything was really dangerous. So they couldn't think how to do it. But someone came up with the idea, why not have a kite festival on the American side where they could fly kites and if someone could get a kite over to the other side on Canada. And after two days, a young boy called uh, Her Herman Walsh uh, made and managed to get his kite in a tree on the other side. Right, so and they had the line they across. Had the line, a very thin line, of course. So then they attached a larger line and then rope and then the steel wires and the, the bridge was built. Right, so the other... Due to a, a small boy. So you can thank a kite That's for the building right, exactly. of the bridge across Niagara Falls. Yeah.